Underwater breathing is a very vital skill to have, whether you're trying to do the Dagon dungeon, trying to access your underwater vault, or maybe you're just trying to farm some of that sweet, sweet underwater brimstone in the jungle. Only way to get brimstone, in my opinion, just because I live in the jungle all the time. Or maybe you're trying to farm some gold and silver from the boxes. I love it when you get that camera angle and you can see everything perfectly. Only way to swim. You will need the ability to not die because you will start dying very quickly as soon as your breath runs out. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. Now you can no longer apply and unapply the Tamos mask to get infinite water breathing. They have fixed that, but it will give you a decent amount of breath. Alternatively, you you can kill the albino bat in the unnamed city. For a guide on that, check out my legendary weapons drops from bosses video. But that's going to pretty much give you infinite water breathing as well as long as you are holding it. Can I get into some deep water please? Well, yeah, essentially your breath won't go down anymore if you're holding the riptide. Let's go into some other methods. You can also drink water potions, which are pretty decent. They run out pretty quickly, but pirates and staff thralls drop them. But you can get the recipe from doing the Abyssal Remnant dungeon. And you can also get fish gill potions potions from unlocking potion maker and if you go into the dagon dungeon you can also learn dragon breath and they will stack as well so that's kind of cool and then hold this thing and apply that thing and you'll last underwater for a really long time apparently forever because holding too many water breathy things makes you be able to breathe underwater forever in this game now the riptide's not going to work mining stuff so you'll need a mixture of the other things or apparently be able to do the mask like i just did i'm sorry if i I tried to not show people this. It's not my fault. <laughs> it happened. I'm sorry, Funcom, that this happened during my video. I, yeah, guess fix your game properly. Maybe, maybe. No. But apparently this is still a thing, even though I thought it wasn't. I did think it was fixed. I did test it as soon as they said they fixed it. Yeah. If you happen to have Jabal Sag Religion Learn from my video, you'll know how to do that dungeon. But you're going to want to unlock the Grove of Jabal Sag and get Feasts of Jabal Sag. Now they require a thing called called blood sausage. Not to be confused with demon blood sausage that you learn from Drifter's Rest of Recipe 10. Oh no no no. This one is crafted from blood in your campfire. Just blood, put it in a campfire. So if you didn't know, you can get a quick, simple, easy source of food from just blood in a campfire. Any sort. I will be doing a cool foods guide at some point as well because there's a lot of cool stuff out there that's just like not common knowledge like roast mushrooms and the blood sausage. Are you going to need blood sausage to craft? It. as well as one ale and three dried berries. Oh, let me get my blood sulfur jar prepared earlier. And that's going to also give you some underwater breathing, which is pretty cool. You're also going to need a drying rack to dry the berries with some bark and berries in there. That'll dry the berries over time. And you're going to need to learn making alcohol. Pretty much just for this reason, it has no other purpose. You're going to need this stuff and you can either put an alchemist to get some extra recipes and make it go quicker or a regular cook, which is kind of cool craft some of those up they will take a lot longer i've got increased crafting time to make purified water you're going to need a stove and fill some flasks up with those to make flasks easily filled with water we're going down some type of rabbit hole now in my flask go put them in there and he'll fill them up for you so you can have a little alchemy cooking section and get things done and make a fairly nice little breathing potion on demand that's a lot cheaper than most of the other god meals for the sake of doing a few dungeons to get the recipe. It's totally worth it. If you know any other ways to breathe underwater, please do share them in the comments. I do appreciate some extra knowledge and I like to forget stuff. There's a lot of shit in this game and I've played it a long time and they change a bunch of stuff all of the time. But if you have found this information informative, please do smash that like and subscribe button. It means a bunch. I'm now at my thousand subscribers goal for the beginning of the year so that's bloody awesome super appreciate you guys and i look forward to making lots more content in 2003 23 2023 god jesus yeah look forward to making lots more content in 2023 for you all until then i hope you have an excellent day evening night morning whatever it may be wherever you may be have a good one